You know, David, I don't want to rain on that parade. Um, and I understand the confidence and certainly a good deal of what Dan says is justified. But you think about it, Dave, um, there's nothing short lived about what's been happening with gas prices. And we just heard from our own Phil Flynn, who had a little idea, was also a cameraman and could, fr and could freely fill up your tank, which is interesting about his industriousness. But what did you think of, of the, the argument on the transitory side that it's all going to last just a little while when, in fact, it's not happening with energy prices. See, I think energy prices kind of have to be interpreted separately from the overall price level because of the uniqueness of the OPEC cartel and the supply demand characteristics. What is offensive to me is that we're talking about OPEC being the supplier to come in and push more supply out and therefore get prices lower. I think we have a state called Texas that can do it and a state called Oklahoma that can do it. This abandonment of U.S. energy independence is what bothers me. But I think the, the overall inflationary pressures do not exist. And that's what the 10 year bond yield is telling you. Oil prices have gone higher because of supply related. But this idea that politicians and the Fed can create inflation at will is what they want to think. Ultimately, they're hurting growth longer term. The bond market is telling us that. They're done. Uh, but the, the real issue here is who does it target? And uh, disproportionately, it could be U.S. multinationals uh, that, you know, European entities have been targeting to pay up um, for some time right now. So a victory uh, for, for the Europeans, I'm, I'm not quite sure for us. Uh, but let's go to Dan Geltrude and David Bonson. And we also have Daniel DiMartino Booth. David, i um, Wherever you are politically on, on, on the map here, this is targeting, you know, the Apples, the Microsofts, the Amazons and those, you know, global operations that the Europeans say dodge paying their fair share of taxes. Now along comes a plan that will do, do, do just that and make sure they do. But this on top of higher taxes likely coming here, it could be a one two punch for these companies. What do you see? Well, I don't necessarily agree that there's likely more taxes coming here. Uh, as I've been saying all year, uh, they have a much harder path ahead to getting it through mansion and cinema than people have realized. But as far as the corporate thing globally, it's utterly insane. The idea that the United States should take P's and Q's from other countries on our tax policy or that other countries should from us is completely un-American. It's like they want to give fodder to the people that are afraid of globalization. This is totally out of bounds, and the other countries are not going to follow it anyways. Everyone will do what is in their best interest when the time comes, as they should. It's an unacceptable policy, and it's driven by a bad ideology. All right, real quick, I wanted David to address something that maybe you did at the outset by saying that the, the tax hikes might never come to pass. Uh, that is the ones that are planned in the United States. You might be right about that, judging by the markets continue to hit records amid all these worries and this, you know, central governments the world over pile on. Um, so the markets are right on this. This is not going to come to pass. Um, I think that there will end up being some modest tax increase next year that's nowhere near what uh, President Biden proposed. We have James Madison and Alexander Hamilton to thank for this. Uh, it turns out you have to do work to legislate, and the sausage making involves getting all the people on board. A 50% 50, uh, 50 Democrat Senate and only four votes uh, lead in the House is not enough to do it. Capital gains may end up going a little bit higher, nowhere near the 43%. I'm not convinced the corporate rate will go up at all, but even if it does, I think they're going to do other trade-offs uh, where they bring the, the rate up a little bit, but bring back some of the deductions that President Trump had gotten rid of, and it won't even really result in a higher tax burden. The markets seem to have known this all year, as you say, yes.